Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So from today we will see what is function, types of function and we will see deeply in user defined function. So first of all, what is function? PHP function are similar to a other programming language. A function is a piece of code which take one or more input in form of parameter and does some process and return a value. So first of all types of function. Here first is built in function. Built in function that means at the function that already coded and stored. We just need to call them as per our requirement. For an example print underscore r. F open. These are the function that already created. Whenever we require we just call that function. We cannot change and we cannot create that function. Next is user defined function. This function we will see in this session. So first of all what is user defined function? PHP allow us to create our own customized function. So that is called a user defined function. The function that we have create it is called a user defined function. So a block of code that used to rapidly in your program. So that block written into your function. Function is not execute automatically when page is load. So you need to call that function. Next is a function keyword is used to beginning of your function name. Whenever we want to call that function, we just use function name and follow by the parenthesis. And last is function name can't start with number. It is always start with alphabet or a underscore. Next is how to create user defined function. So as we have know, we have just write function keyword to beginning of your function. Here is the syntax. Function is your keyword. Next is your function name and follow by parenthesis. And in bracket, we have write our code that is used repeatedly in your program. Here is the example. Function is keyword. So message is your function name and here is that code that is used repeatedly in your program. So whenever so message function is called we just use this line. Here is your function name and here is your bracket. In bracket we can pass parameter but we will see in next slide. Here we can call function so after calling this code is execute and it print hello. So next is function parameter or you can also say function arguments. Both are same. So whenever we pass some information into your function. So at that situation we use parameter or we use arguments. Here PHP give you an option to pass your information inside a function using parameter or a argument. Here is the syntax. Function is keyword, function your function name and you can pass here information through a parameter or a argument. Now you can pass many argument into your function parameter. Here you just write a comma separated value and inside you can write your executable code. Here is the example. This example have a two integer parameter and add them together and then print that answer. Here we call a function add. Here add is your function and we have passed two value. First is 10 and second is 20. You can also say we have passed two parameter or we, we have passed two argument. So whenever this function is called here n1 value is 10 and n2 value is 20. So sum is n1 plus n2. So after adding we will store our answer into some variable and after we will print sum of two number is 30. 
so you can pass your argument using function so next is pass passing argument by a reference so in a previous slide you can see that you pass a function argument or a value so that if you change the value of the argument within function it does not get change outside the function but if you wish to allow a function to be modify its argument you must pass them by a reference so you pass a variable reference then change in your argument it will reflect to your original variable you can pass an argument by reference by using n person before your variable name here is the example to better understand here we have one string the value is this is string now we have call one function add some extra and we have pass one parameter string so in string value is this is string so after calling this code is execute so we have pass reference to your string variable so after in change in string it will reflect to your str here we have append dot equal to that means this string is open to your original string so and something extra so your string is this is string and append add and something extra so we will print your string so output is this is string that we have initially give a value to your string name variable after calling this function we will append to your argument string so argument string we will pass end person that means we will pass our original string so we will change in function to your parameter of string it will affect to your outside the function so your output is this is string and something extra so the next is default value for your function parameters php allow you to define c++ style default argument value in such a case if you don't pass any value to your function it will use a default argument value let us see the example to better understand here is the example here one function name is say hello and it have one argument and its default value is om so if we if we don't pass uh, any argument to your say hello function then it will take a default argument om here first time we call say hello and we will pass one argument hello so it uh, don't take a default value it take a name vari variable value is a so it will print hello a after we will uh, we will uh, call second function say hello and we can't pass argument so at that situation it take a default value om so it output is hello and om after we will pass b as a argument so it uh, not take a default value it take name as a b so output is hello b here is the output first time we will pass a so output is hello and a after we not pass any value so it will take a default value and it print hello om after we will pass b so it uh, output is hello b i hope you have understand function and you have also understand user defined function so thank you everyone like my session share my session with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my session thank you